Hi everybody, Josiah here, also known as Chilling Silence, and I'm the author of the DigiAsset Tools, CreateDigiAssets.com. Today I'm going to show you how to get started and create your first DigiAsset. So what we're going to do is we're going to sign in using DigiID. What you'll want to do is take your mobile device using either Android, iOS, and you can authenticate using either the Digibyte wallet, DigiID Simple, DigiID and Antim ID, or the Coinomi wallet. Simply hold it up to the QR code, scan, it will ask you to authenticate. Now that we've signed in, it's going to ask us for a name. This isn't used anywhere specifically aside from for support requests. So I'm going to put in my name here. It's now going to ask me to deposit 500 Digibyte to enable asset creation. The current fee is 500 Digibyte for each Digi asset that you want to create. Simply scan the QR code using your Digibyte wallet and it will prompt you to deposit 500 Digibyte. Once you have sent those 500 Digibyte, it should only take around about 15 seconds. That's the speed of the Digibyte block timing, 15 seconds. You can click on the refresh button and it will say you may now create one Digi asset. Fantastic. Up the top, you can now click on Create Digi Asset. There are a few fields that you'll want to fill out. One of the things that you're going to notice is it wants an asset image here. This mentions that you need to have this hosted somewhere, for example, on a website. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Digibyte logo and I'm going to upload this now to Imager. On the Imager website, imgur.com, I've gone to upload. And what I'm going to do now is drag an image into it. And it's going to host it for me now. What I'm going to do though, instead of linking to this, is I'm going to right click on the picture and I'm going to ask it to copy the image address. This is what I'm going to use in createdigiassets.com. I'll paste the asset image in here and I'm going to give this asset a name. I'm going to give it a bit of a description. We'll keep this nice and brief. The maximum supply is how many assets you would like to issue within this digi asset. In this case, I'm going to do 100,000. I also want to leave this as a locked asset. I'm not going to reissue it again in the future. What I'm going to do now is paste my Digibyte wallet address. I've copied this from Digibyte on my Android phone. However, you can also use Digibyte Go on PC. iOS support is coming soon. Simply paste it in, and we've now filled out all the fields and we're ready to create our first Digi asset. Simply click on the Create button. It's going to issue the Digi asset now and give me a confirmation to say that the asset has been issued successfully along with the unique identifier for the individual digi asset. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to Digi Explorer and look up my digi asset. One of the easiest ways to do this is using the asset destination address. Now I'm at the block explorer. I'll paste my address into the search field and search. We can see that this was the asset issuance transaction and this unique identifier matches the one that we saw on screen earlier. If I click on the asset identifier, it will take me to the asset overview screen where I can see all of the information about this digi asset. Again, including that it is a locked digi asset. I can see that this is a demonstration digi asset for createdigiassets.com and the description is also repeated again down here. At the moment, there is only one holder there has been one issuance because it is a locked digi asset and there haven't been any transfers. It's simply been issued to my mobile wallet, which we can see a confirmation of down below here. The one individual holder currently holding 100,000 of the digi asset. I hope you've enjoyed this overview and I hope you have a lot of great ideas for future digi assets that you can issue on the Digibyte blockchain.